Booking Tips from the Oracle, everyone. I'm your host, The Oracle, and today I'm excited. We've got a scent that's been making all the hype trail, whatever we call it, or is it the hype train? You guys know what I mean. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, this is a scent you've heard of, and you've heard a lot of people talk about it, but you haven't heard what The Oracle thinks. So without further ado, let's get into it. The scent I'm bringing to you guys today is none other than Latafa's Bidet Al Oud Honor and Glory. Is it full of honor, full of glory? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. Let's get into the notes right quick. Top notes of pineapple and cream brulee, middle notes cinnamon, benzoin, turmeric, black pepper, and then you get base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, cashmere, and moss. Sounds good. What does that mean when you wear it? Well, Whew, I love smelling this one, guys. I really like this one. But I'm gonna give you this one comes with some caveats, so stay tuned, keep watching until we talk about while I talk about it. So when you spray it, you get the pineapple. Now you've heard some people say that you get like a realistic pineapple. No, you don't. I don't know why people say that. There, there are a few scents that give you a realistic pineapple. This one ain't one of them. Alright. This is a somewhat of a synthetic pineapple. Uh, it's a very tart one though. I, I would say it's kind of a tart with a little powderiness. So when it starts off, you get this tart kind of burst of the pineapple, and then as it starts to dry, uh, it starts to in, go into the bright, blah, 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 into the dry down. The cream brulee comes up, and that adds, excuse me, a little smoothness to it. Then you get the cinnamon start to come in. And then that's when the, the benzoin, the black pepper is always kind of in the background to kind of give you that nose tickle thing. And then as it brings in, the sandalwood starts coming in, bringing it more and more creamier. And then that vanilla is kind of in the base and start rounds it out and adds just a touch of sweetness. Now, it is not a sweet scent that you would think it would be with cream brulee and vanilla. It's not super sweet, which is really interesting, but it does almost sound like, smell like a bakery. So. And I think I give you a great example of one of my experiences with it. I've worn this a lot over the last couple of weeks because uh, I wasn't sure what I thought about, to be honest with you. Um, I went, wore it, got in my car because this thing leaves a phenomenal sillage and a phenomenal scent trail. Got out of my car, uh, went to the gas station, got back in my car, and it was like walking into a bakery, guys. It, you know, you've heard some people explain this one to say it smells like a pineapple upside down cake. And that is so, so accurate. Oh, just smelling it. You get this powdery vanilla with a touch of pineapple in it. And the pineapple stays all the way through it. But it's kind of a tarty pineapple. So you get this tartness with this sweetness. And it just mixes. And it makes it for a really, really phenomenal scent. Matter of fact, you know, you often hear people talk about niche on this cheap. This is a very, very niche type scent very artistic uh, i don't know what it's cloning to be honest with you i've I, I don't think anyone's peeped it i do believe this is a uh uh, uh an original from latafa if anyone has any idea please put it at the bottom but you know i've kind of gone through the list and I, I can't think of anything that could possibly be cloning but i know it smells really good now uh longevity this thing lasts a while god it, it lasts a while i got eight hours out of it Projection is beast mode. Four sprays max, guys. If you're going into an office, if you do any more than that, you're gonna be smoking people out. It leaves a phenomenal scent trail. It is awesome. Compliment factor, got no compliments. It should be out. And I wore it publicly, a lot of different places, in a crowd, out, no compliments whatsoever. Just don't think it's that kind of scent. Uh, uh, I did have a co-worker uh, smell it. She loved it. She wants a decant. She sprayed all over herself and she just said she loves smelling it all day. And that's what this one does, guys. When you wear it, you will absolutely enjoy wearing it all day. You'll be smelling yourself. Just, mm, I smell good. It's just like that. But I got no compliments. And I was around a lot of people wearing this one. So I would not say this is first date safe. Uh, it's very gourmandy. Uh, ladies, absolutely safe. Guys, you're gonna have to like the gourmand. I think guys can pull it off just fine. Matter of fact, I, I, I do find this to be completely unisex. Um, but, you know, uh, I wouldn't say it's first date safe, to be honest with you, because the tartness in the pineapple uh, could probably, because sometimes it'll kind of give, give that nose tickle thing with the pepper, the tartness in the pineapple with the pepper. 
I, I just, it, I don't think it's a Netflix and chill. So use it with Gourmands, it'd be a good Netflix and chill. So I wouldn't say this is that. This is just, I want to smell good just for me. I'm gonna wear it out on the town and I like this smell and that's just it. Not a date scent, not a compliment scent, but an absolutely fantastic scent to wear, especially for those who love uh, colognes like we do. Um, when should you wear it? I think it's good anytime. It's definitely a spring and fall primarily because it is a little thick, but the powderiness in it is light enough where you could probably get away maybe, I just don't think you can do deep summer, but you could definitely get like fall, spring, and definitely winter. Uh, deep summer, and I think it'll probably be a little bit cloying and be rough to go, but there is a lightness in the powderiness that Mm, I just keep doing it. guys look you see what I'm doing. I keep smelling it because it just smells that good um, So would I advise it? Yes, would I pay more than 50 bucks for it? No um, If you got the other bad all dudes, this is my favorite of all of them I'm gonna do a comparison video of all of them coming up soon But this one right here is the number one without question. And I absolutely enjoyed it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Guys mm. The way they did this is just phenomenal. I, I don't, I've not smelled anything like this before. And you know, you know, a lot of people think we talk a lot about pineapple thing and scents. The way they did this one, guys, get your hands on, just get your, get your nose on this doggone thing. That's all I got to say. I'm not gonna ramble. Y'all know how I am. I'm to the point. Is it a good buy? Yes. Is it Oracle approved? Yes. Is it first date approved? Uh, no, maybe on the third date or so, but probably not in Netflix and chill either. Anyway, if you've gotten any value, out of this video, please like, please subscribe. Uh, if you've got it, please post at the bottom what you thought. Appreciate you guys. Oracle out.